Hey guys, welcome back to FIFA 22 CF Funabrata Career Mode. And today, right here, we are looking at our Youth Academy report. Again, nothing interesting happened or none of the talents that, you know, catch my eye so far. Yes, we do scout a few players who has a potential from at least 70 something to 94, which is good. But of course, um, the most important part is being able, uh, allowing them being able to grow at a capacity city where i believe where they are good enough to play for the team but so far um none of them uh none of us or none of them actually um are good enough to actually be playing for us at this point but you know what that is okay because currently our squad is looking pretty good but unfortunately well you guys know from the previous episode where we had a two major injuries that occur on Nico Serrano, our left midfielder, and also our uh, striker Latauro. Both of them have been phenomenal for us throughout the whole season. But of course, the the one player that is solely missed would be uh, Latauro because again, he is pretty much he's wearing number ten. He is our number one striker. But unfortunately, right now we just need to kind of step it up a little bit for uh, Saiken right here. Uh, right, uh, yeah, right there. Just uh, unfortunate. Couldn't really uh, get a grow, uh, get a goal right there, but yes, it is going to be tough because both of them have uh, torn the ACL, which kept them around seven months out, and of course, it is going to be a very very tough remainder of the season. We have approximately thirteen games to go. Can't believe this episode or you know what uh, this season has gone through at least half of it, and of course, uh, still, um, still have a lot of things to work on, especially right now. We we need two good substitutes in order to at least you know what get something uh in the end or kind of get some result and Saiken right there proves everybody wrong by you know what scoring another good goal right there so one nothing for us against Laganis and of course another noticeable uh players that do want to talk about here it's our left midfielder young left midfielders uh Mosquera, who I believe has the tag of showing great potential is currently 63 rated not very high, but you know what? This is the best that I can do in that area. And of course, signing two plays on the transfer deadline days in order to add a little bit more depth into the team. Of course, one of them is Eliasson, uh, the Swedish uh, central attacking midfielder who is also capable of operating as striker and also left midfielder. And right here in the 86th minute, here comes the foul. Uh, just sweats it to uh, Strana. He hasn't been scoring a lot of goals. He hasn't been giving... A lot of opportunities in this season so far but of course when he comes on he can all he can always change the game just a slightly bit and right there even though it was only a sweaty goal but being back on the score sheet for him means a lot to him three nothing is the final score against Laganis and we are uh, yeah we are still four points away or four points clear uh, on uh, Malacqua I believe so and unfortunately we have another injury issue right there uh, Ilias, our right midfielder, has injured himself again or for the team three months this time, which means very likely he will not be a feature for another game for the rest of the season. So our squad has become a little bit thin in terms of offensively. And this is going to be, again, a very, very tough situation, but we just have to bite through it. And right here we are playing against Saragoza away this time of course 20th minutes right here looking for a counter attack here comes Navarro skip past the midfielder looking for some options in the middle but uh, here comes Guzman on the right hand side again uh, Guzman's another player that I want to do talk about later crosses in the middle to Coindredi right there and what a great head to go but of course uh, goalkeeper could have done a little bit better in terms of how he dealt with the ball um, right there could have saved that obviously but you know what Guzman Yes, again, he is probably the only place that when I call him up, he has the highest rating. But of course, his potential doesn't necessarily uh, reflect that. Uh, but you know what? He will be getting a lot of game time for the remainder of the season. And I don't think I will be substitute him with another player or at least uh, not in my knowledge at this point. And uh, right there, Fernandez scores the second goal for today's game. Again, goalkeeper, big, big mistake right there. Had a hand to it, but unfortunately, wasn't strong enough to keep the ball away. So Goza has a chance right here. Saban right here. Sabine right here. And good save by Sijuantes. Um, and here comes 36 minutes. Here comes Marino. Let's try to finesse that one, but good save by Sijuantes. Once again, again, our 64. 
564 rated uh, go young goalkeeper. Again, he still has a lot of uh, room to improve. And Cohen Drady makes a 3 0. Again, a good turnaround and shoot. And makes a 3 0 right before halftime. Of course, very, 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 very happy with our midfielder currently. Again, uh, Charlie Patino has been quite out of favor for the recent games, or at least I'm pretty much. Um, I I'm pretty much play the players who has a much higher rating in terms of their ability and their, and their certain uh, position but again Charlie Patino again falling out of favor for me in a lot of times but Contrady just a very good uh, overall all-around player here comes Kuvman uh, comes back inside take a good shot and 5 nothing for CF when Abrada and I believe that would be his second or third goal for Kuzman again he has again he his rating it's not too bad, but again, just uh, Navarro is a much, much better player. But of course, the only time when I play Navarro, actually, you know what? I do actually have a uh, strategy in terms of how I approach the games. Every time when we are at least three or two goals ahead uh, in the last, what, like 30, 35 minutes, I'll take Navarro off at this point. And um, I'll take Navarro off and put on Kuzman, giving him a little bit more gaming time. But at the same time, try I'm trying not to risk anybody at this point because again, it is quite it is quite uh, it is quite uh, frustrating to see the majority of our players it has you know it's gone for um, for injury injury related issues. So try to avoid that at this point. And right now, third game of this episode, we are playing against uh, Malaga CF. 12 minutes in already. Here comes Saikon uh, going through one on one with goalkeeper, but good save by the goalkeeper to keep it away. And in the 14 minutes, literally one minute after the previous play, here comes Navarro. Good turn by him, took a shot, but uh, ooh, but it was just a little bit off right there. In 28 minutes and still couldn't really find a goal. In a lot of circumstances, we usually find ourselves a goal right here. And uh, ooh, uh, good save by uh, uh, Sifuente is right there. 35 minutes and here comes Navarro dribbling in the box, looking for a pass in the middle. But you know what? Turns out Sikon is more of a decoy than actually a goal scorer in that situation. And Navarro continues his very, very successful season. I believe he scores at least... 20 or 30 plus goal at this point he is a truly reliable central attacking midfielder and honestly probably one of the uh the best signings i made so far in this series uh because again he's been playing almost every game and making a everlasting impact for the club and serrano right here javi serrano uh scores the second goal in today's game uh, and here comes a Malaga, uh, pretty much looking for the cons consolation goal, and there they go, they got it. Uh, bad, very very bad uh, defensive display overall by uh, from the Brada, from the Brada uh, club right here, and of course Malaga has to make things a little bit more interesting than before 83 minutes in here comes uh here comes malaga once again we are trying to defend for our lives but again good save by sifandes to uh keep the ball away and that's how the game ended 2-1 a very shaky game towards the end just couldn't really find any chance in the second half but you know what the first two goals in the uh, first half meant a lot for us and of course right here we are still four points clear uh, of the top of the table but again it is quite frustrating uh, it is quite frustrating at this point because we just couldn't shake off uh malika who is sitting at second place no matter how many games we win we just couldn't really shake it off which is quite frustrating again i really do want the season or the remainder of the season more of a you know, more of a um season where we just complete dominate every everybody but malika has another uh thing in their mind but of course uh can't really blame them they still of course they still want to get promoted they wanted to they wanted to uh claim champion in this division and right here uh one nothing for us already and muskira right here just uh you know what a, a a very odd a very odd player in the team or at least the lowest rated in the team but you know what? I'm not gonna blame him. He scores that one. He definitely needed that. I'm very happy for him as well. And of course, Saiken scores the first goal for the club right there. And Mascara scoring the second one. And here comes Sanchez, Alejandro Sanchez, our another youth player. Chips in the middle to Navarro, but 
good control and of course good finishing by Navarro to end this game pretty much 3-0 and we know this game has ended and at the same time that will be the night for Navarro he will be going back to the bench he will be resting his legs um, for the remainder of the season 3-0 is the score against Miranda's and again a very very good month despite uh having two major injury uh problems we still somehow managed to win uh those four games right after the injuries but again another injury on uh, Ilias it's not quite ideal but we have to fight through it again it's all about realism injuries happen but it's the it's the uh, it's a way how you cope with it and so far we've been doing all right so uh you know what that will be the end for you guys or for me or for in this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in a bit